What is up everybody, Escape211 here. As you can see, I am using a brand new account because I wanted to look at the new player experience. It's been a little while since I've looked at it and I've heard a couple things about things that have changed, namely within the progress path. And that's the stuff I wanna talk about. New player experience so far, super early on when you're talking about maybe first, you know, five to 10 matches, pretty similar to what it was before. But there have been some changes to the progress path that has made it difficult to progress. And I wanna talk about that and then, you know, maybe uh, play or show you some footage. Um, so right now I'm I'm right where Panther is. When you first start out, a lot of this is the same. Not much has changed. One thing I will say has changed, which is a good thing, actually. These um, lower weapons are a lot cheaper than they used to be. All right. Both of these were uh, in the th all these uh, um, two and four and six energy common weapons were somewhere between like, uh, you know, two to eight thousand credits now they're way cheaper this two is only 300 um the four i'm not sure because i already got that one uh but if i look at this four by comparison it is only 600 and then i think the the eights are or the sixes are 800 yeah so it's only a few hundred which is nice it does jump up once you get into uncommon so i think they're trying to separate it between common uncommon epic all that kind of stuff which isn't bad i'm okay with that for the weapons they do a good job i feel like giving you a decent arsenal because this one before was eight coins it was 150 eight coins which is a trap i feel and people will spend that and then lose all the eight coins they get early on however there are some problems with the way they have this set up first of all here is juggy all right this guy is your first mech that you can unlock and he is now a whopping 500 a coins okay this is insane juggernaut before used to be 75 a coins which already sounds like a decent amount however you also have this daily quest that after you unlock juggernaut you get 50 a coins so you would get most of it back so essentially he's 25 a coins or he used to be now he's um uh 450 a coins which is huge a lot of people don't have that to start um you'd have to spend money to get that um, or you have to grind and here's the other problem with that all right as you can see up here i'm in division nine the way divisions are split now they open up certain things for you all right when you get to 10 you can join custom matches you can do cpc um, after you get out of like just the tutorial stuff when you get to division nine you can start doing tournament and 5v5 which is awesome because that means you can start earning uh resources to be able to get juggernaut and all that stuff but the problem is that if i go in here and i try to click tournament it says I need to have at least three mechs in my hangar. And I can't get that from Juggy. all right? So really to even progress at all, you pretty much have to spend money. The next uh, one you get is Panther. I actually don't know how much he costs. Uh, maybe we'll play a little and we'll see how much he ends up costing. But he was just shy of 300. I think it was 275 A-coins. But either way, acoin based stuff guys i mean there's there's no way for you to realistically i mean you can open up crates you can get a little bit from the progress path but not a significant amount and not enough for dealing with getting that juggy early on all right and if you're a person who's a new player you're probably going to start playing right away maybe play at least 10 games maybe do a little bit more and then once you unlock new modes and can't play them it's going to get pretty frustrating pretty quickly i feel like um, so that's a, a bad thing about this. Uh, another thing that's different is pilots are way earlier, which in some cases is cool. It's nice that you're able to get them earlier, but a lot of people don't have the credits you need for getting these pilots, right? When you first start pilots, if you want to get just the rares, they are already 40,000 credits, all right? A lot of people don't have that. Hardly anyone has these epic ones that they can get right now. Um, so it's very difficult to have them. Problem is the AI will have them. So the AI is going to have pilots and you're going to be behind the eight ball already against the AI early on, unless again, you're able to spend money or get a whole bunch of extra credits. It's definitely already for the early game for new players, kind of pushing that idea of you're going to do better at spending. Now these, this is pocket change type stuff. It's really cheap. I mean, if you go into the offers that they have, these are not super expensive. I mean, I can get Panther with, you know, a six energy weapon for only three bucks. Pretty good for early game. That will dominate the early game, but you're already getting into spending. If I can get Samson and put it with my RPGs for really cheap, 99 cents. Now, I'm not trying to say this is bad to spend early or these deals are bad. They actually have great value. But if you're a person who's just starting out playing like for your first day, having this kind of artificial wall already is going to push a lot of people away. There's just no level of retention for a new player to stay unless they're already willing to spend money. But we're going to jump into a match here and see if we can try to get Panther. 
All right. Oh, it looks like we actually got a player. All right, we'll see how this goes. Last time I had a player, man, they already had a kill shot and they had Arc Torrance. I mean, it's crazy as, again, the new player experience to be up against that. Um, normally, I would be using like RPGs on my uh, uh, Paragon, but since we got red and those auto cannon implants so early, I actually think this is going to be stronger. All right, uh, I saw that other player. It didn't look like they had a pilot on, so I'm guessing they're probably in a similar spot to me. I hope at least. At least it'll be better than the last situation. We'll see how it goes. I wish I recorded that other match, though. It was still intense. I'm just kind of wildly shooting. Hoping I can land something. I can't even tell if I'm hitting... Oh, all right. And I actually got a kill. Wow, I didn't even think I was close enough to killing that guy. Or killing anyone. But he also was, wasn't was targeting him. It was targeting this guy. Which I do feel much closer to killing. Come on, let's get him. Yeah, not quite. Not quite, not quite. Oh, the other guy's using a Lancer. Okay. That's the thing for me. It looks like he's just trying to, like, learn how to jump. Or, or maybe he's fighting one of our guys over there. So he's definitely, you know, more the newer player experience. Come on, let me kill that guy. Oh my gosh, he's so close to dead. Just let me kill him. I just want to kill a dude. Here we go. Let's get rid of Hot Nelly over here. Oh man, there's that guy over there. Can't have it. Can't have it. Get off my stuff. Okay, uh, you got Hot Nelly, good. Player is back here. So this time, at least, I, I feel like the player is probably in a similar boat to me in terms of what he has. Maybe that other guy just, you know, got a lucky matchup against me. I don't really know. It's, it's again, it's really hard for me to tell what their, you know, um, setup is here on, on figuring out how people get matched up. But it's very frustrating, that's for sure. There's a player up there. Oh, see, they already got jabs. That's the other... I mean, that's crazy to me. If they already got jabs, man. That's another thing. It's just like... Um, they might have bought stuff. I don't know. And, and it's really hard. I get it, though. Like, you're trying to match up people who are new, but, like, certain things that give you really big advantages uh, are very hard for me to deal with and, and fairly justify how that process goes. Go ahead, you come down here. Go ahead and fight my other guys. I don't mind if you come down here. Fight them too. You gotta deal with all of us. Yeah. I knew you were gonna get me. That's okay. I was just trying to stall you. <laughs> as long as I can stall you so that we continue to, to hold the line here, that's fine with me. I don't think he realizes that he's in trouble. Like, um, capture point wise. Or he just realizes he's the only one left, so he's, like, trying to play smart. Yeah. He is playing good defensively. In some sense. But that's all right. Got it. I mean, you played as well as you can. Oh, he's got the carbine skin. I actually had that one, too. I just didn't put it on. I should. It's a good skin. I do like that one. So let's see if we got our panther or close to getting him. I just want to see how he sits on the progress path. There we go. Nice. So now that he's unlocked, let's see how much he is. So this other guy must have bought this one because he got the arc turrets uh, that I fought against. So he must have gotten that cheap deal. Um, so if I look on the progress path at panther, let's see how much he is. Yeah, so his price has not changed, but... You still then have to wait until Panther is available, and then you have to wait till somehow you can get 275 A coins without being actually able to do it um, in tournament, because I can't really do tournament yet. And then I'm assuming, you know, these may change in cost. They may be A coins. There may be some other things that are A coin based, and I, I won't essentially be able to unlock Panther until I'm twice as much XP as I am right now. Um, unless I'm spending money and then I can just barely start to play in tournament. Um, so I don't know. It just seems a little late for that to be possible. Uh, I do think that if they, I, I think it is very reasonable for them to just change Juggy. I think this guy should be maybe at most a hundred A coins, but if they're going to jack up his price, some his rank should be higher. Like he should be a two or maybe even three star when you first start, because Already, six energy is already annoying to deal with that early. Not very good, but the idea of paying that much for a one-star mech is pretty 
frustrating and he's underwhelming, especially when you compare it to Panther, which you get shortly after, uh, who is far better, like far and away. Um, cause I mean, if they have juggernaut set up that way, I would just tell people not to bother with them at all. But you know, uh, that's, that's kind of the situation and the state of things and the way it is right now. Um, you know, good and bad mixture there for the early game experience. Um, and if you guys happen to know some other price differences, price hikes and changes that you've seen, um, even just any changes that we can use to update, you know, the database and our information, that would be good to know. I don't know if this is something they intend to keep with, if they're just playing around with the progress path, maybe they're trying to fix or change some other things. Maybe it's a good thing long-term if they tend to change more things, but this this is honestly a bad first player experience in my opinion especially compared to what we had before but you guys can let me know what you think below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield